Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I've got an unboxing. Um, it's a little unusual for me. This is a uh, Nebo flashlight. Um, you can see there, Nebo. Normally I wouldn't give Nebo, you know, much thought. Um, it's a uh, flashlight, uh, I guess that's a California warning there, um, that the brand, anyway, usually produces very inexpensive flashlights. Some Most of the time I see a Nebo, it's at the checkout counter at the hardware store, which, um, you know, was a red flag for me. But what I thought I'd do is try one of their flashlights. Um, and uh, as far as the cost of something like this, this is the most expensive cheap flashlight um, is the way I look at it. In other words, it's the most expensive Nebo that is made. It retails for um, about 160 bucks. Um, you can get them for less, uh, various places. Not a lot less though, it kind of surprised me. Um, but this is known as the 12K, that's the model number. And 12K stands for 12,000 lumens, which normally, you know, you'd think is, is almost unusable, it's so powerful. But we'll see, it has a few other features and that's why I decided to explore it. It's USB-C rechargeable, which everything should be that today. Um, it has a, uh, a power bank, basically meaning it charges other devices. Um, this says 5,000 milliamps. It actually, it has two uh, 26650 batteries inside it, meaning it has, um, it runs on 12 or 10,000 milliamps, the flashlight, which is, that, that's just the battery. Um, and one of those is dedicated to the um, charging of other devices. Waterproof, it's got an IP ingress protection, 67. Um, the six is, uh, I think, the dust, um, which that's a high rating. Seven is about one meter for 30 minutes. The waterproof, uh, light mo or, you know, quality materials. It's got a turbo, which is that 12,000 K, and it lasts about 30 seconds or something like that. And then it's got the high, medium, low, and a strobe. And the strobe is actually the 12,000 K uh, as well. But what's interesting, I thought, um, is when you get into this kind of battery power, I mean, the high um, is 7,000 lumens, and it says it lasts up to two hours, or 3,000 lumens for 3,000, or for three hours, or the low, um, which is only 300 lumens, which is, you know, high on a lot of other scales, um, lasts according to this, for 12 hours. Um, so it's some sizable lighting here. Anyway, let's get into this thing. Uh, to crack it open today, I'm gonna use a um, Benchmade Emissary aluminum handles, S90V steel, it's an Osborne design. This is just goo from envelopes and boxes. That's what this thing usually ends up opening. I like it, it's an assist. So you just begin the blade's journey and it finishes for you. And because uh, because it's an assist, a lot of them will have some sort of a locking mechanism for both open and closed, so it doesn't go off in your pocket. Anyway, let's crack this open and see. I've not, I've never even seen one of these in real life. I, I guess, I'm not sure where they, where they live. Um, Uh, oh, I, I did check a lot of reviews, though, before I made the leap, and uh, it sounds like um, it's very well received. It's an interesting box here. Uh, I guess it goes that way. Glad it's not white so it doesn't blow out my exposure. Looks like it goes out this way, so there it is. So, that's a beefy flashlight. We've got our USB-C cord, a lanyard, instructions, which I looked at online already before I even opened this, so I'd have something to say, and it's pretty basic uh, stuff going on here. Look at that monster. I don't know if there's any juice in this thing, because it's brand new, so we've got our USB 
C and this would be out. So I could charge a USB-C something or with that cord or use one of the micro USBs. Um, it's probably a weakness for the ingress protection there. Now there's a zoom on this thing, I guess. Oops, is that how it works? Yeah, look at that. So it winds out. Gosh, how far do you have to go? So if I line that up with that, yeah, it's like one and a third rotations. That's quite a bit. A lot of them would pop in and out, but um, we got back here. Before use, it says open battery compartment and remove plastic disc. That's probably to keep it from going off on the journey from China over here. Um, good grief, look at that monster. It's actually two batteries in one tube, two 26650s, um, two 5,000 milliamp batteries. But, you know, you, basically something with this much juice could start a fire. Um, so you gotta be a little careful with things like this. Um, apparently it's got some kind of heat management. Let's see if there's any juice. Wow, holy moly. So it, if you hit it once, it goes on its brightest setting and then toggles down through the settings. Um, so you've got high, medium, low, and then double click there for the strobe. But also a lot of lights, and I love Olight for doing this, um, it actually has a lowest on feature. So it's still pretty bright, 300 lumens. It's not for reading in bed. Um, but basically that lowest on is just by holding, the, holding this on. And then, did you see that, how it toggled up? That was kind of interesting, and down. Instead of going through a clicking mode, I had read about this, it toggles, and then if you leave it, this is one of the, maybe the irritating things about this. Apparently, um, you have to either cycle through it or wait eight seconds and then everything is off when you hit the button, no matter what setting you're on. But one of the things I read about was um, that it actually has this, uh, um, this smart temperature control um, to actively regulate the light. That also um, uses basically, or causes you to have a seamless transfer up and down through the scale. So it isn't like the throttle downs where it's on and then boom, it drops to the next lowest and there's a, a big chunk there. But this one actually has some gradation between the light, um, if that really matters to you. Heavy duty, it weighs two pounds. This guy, uh, you should try the... Just pointing it there to see. A little bit of chromatic aberration out on the edges. That's to be expected from an inexpensive light. They're not gonna spend a ton of money um, trying to get the lenses perfect. I'm not even sure the lens is glass. I would hope it is, given the, given the juice. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the Nebo 12K, the most expensive, cheap flashlight. Um, and I'll play around with it See what it does over time? What does that say? International patents. Um, so Nebo, they're stepping up their game to consider a, a $160 flashlight that competes with their own stuff that's around, uh, um, I don't know, five to $10 at the checkout counter. So we'll see how this goes. Anyway, hope you found it useful. And with that, Doc out.